All right, so this is a guide on how to get the 25,000 exobit farming feet in DC Universe Online. So where you want to start is at the Burnley nightclub. If you're a villain, you'll see the sign saying 539 Club. You'll know at, you're, you know you're at the right spot when you see that sign. So starting from there, you want to run north. Okay, you run north until you get to this... Uh, light street light uh, by that tree that will be your first spawn location then you want to go on this ledge to the building east this is your second and i just say uh when i block that'll mean it's a location so here's another one up on this ledge north of that building and go south down onto the ledge south and here's another spawn point now go south of that building to this water fountain and there's another spawn point. Now go south onto that building. And right by this vent is another spawn point. Now you want to go east onto the fence. Right by that tree and the, the sign over here is another spawn point. And then you want to go in between these two pillars for another exo bit. And next you want to go north to this area this is also where raven spawns and also where you can get another exo bit run to the building east run up top onto this ledge and there's another exo bit unfortunately a hero got it before i could and then you want to go south east of this building onto the ledge to find another exo bit he got it again this oh my gosh anyway now you want to jump down north in between these two windows, you'll find another exhibit by that uh, street sign, not street sign, but street light as well. Then you want to go east of that onto this building. Nothing important here. It's just a reference point. Just jump across onto this bottom floor right next to this tree. You'll find another exhibit. Now run east of that onto this building. There's nothing on this building, but there will be one across the building right here near the edge. So there's another exhibit. After this one, you wanna go east into this little corner on the next building and another one spawns here and then go south on top of uh, this ledge. You'll find another exhibit. It's not there right now, but also there's another exhibit spawn point right here on the floor. So now you wanna go north of that building to the east side on this ledge is another spawn point. Then go north where the water fountains are and in between the water fountains on the east side there'll be one right there. Now you want to go west on top of the on top of this building on the edge on the south edge you'll see another spawn point right there. And now you want to go north on the bottom floor of this building north you'll find another spawn point right here by the window. Next you want to go north to the next building in between these windows you'll find a spawn point right here and go up top you'll find another spawn point south of that skylight next will be a difficult one to get if you're super speed it's up on top of this tower i personally skip it every time because it's not worth the hassle and time it takes to climb up there but if you have a joker's jetpack or if you have a pterodactyl trinket go ahead and get it because it's very easy for flight flight users but here's an example of what it takes to actually get it sometimes it's smooth but most of the time this is what you have to deal with and unless you're like the hussein bolt of super speed you're gonna have trouble you're gonna have trouble like i did getting up here and it's gonna be a complete waste of time but this is where it spawns usually right here uh also it's almost always there because no one else ever gets it so here's another spawn point at the bottom of that tower and then if you want to go slightly off the path the path east you can go over here in between the stairs and get another spawn point right here i'm being hit by an ad right now so my movement mode is slowed down Next, you want to go northwest in between these stairs right here. You'll see another spawn point from here. Now, from here, you want to go west. This is west building. And then on this ledge, on the north ledge, you want to, in between these two vents, you'll find another spawn point. And then you want to go south of that in between this uh, AC and the building. You'll find another spawn point. Now, go west of that to the bottom. In front of this vent, you'll see another spawn point. I'll call them vents or ACs, but and then go south. Uh, no, this is just me going back to actually 
spend some time there to show you that is clearly that right there and then you want to go south on this ledge and you'll find another spawn point right here then go south by this trash can and here's another spawn point and from this point you want to go west to the bottom of the stairs in this direction and here's another spawn point right here at the bottom of the stairs now go up the stairs and after you go up the stairs you want to go south of the stairs and right behind that investigation you'll find another spawn point here right south of that investigation or briefing Next, you want to go west in between this bench and this uh, street light. You'll find another spawn point right here. Now go up this building. Right here by this uh, chimney thing, uh, you'll find another spawn point. Now go north up this building. And right next to this uh, antenna, you'll find another spawn point. Now jump across north and jump into this hole south of this area all the way down and you'll find another spawn point right here. After you get this one, you want to jump down south and go west next to the street light. You'll find another spawn point. It's faint and hard to see, but it's right there. I zoomed in just so you can see it easier. And there it is. There's a, another spawn point by that street light. I took a screeny just because I think I'll use this for my thumbnail. I'm not sure. But anyway, run up the stair. I mean, run up the building. All the way up. And in between these two buildings, you'll find another spawn point right there. And then jump down into this hole. Jump down into the hole and you'll find another. Okay, I'm just going back to show you that that's where it was. Anyway, you jump down into that hole and you'll see another spawn point right here. Now jump north onto the railing and right, right uh, at the start of the arch, you'll see a spawn point. Now jump north near the water. Here's another spawn point right here by that street light and going west. Right next to the furthest tree to the west, you'll see another spawn point right where I'm blocking. Now jump up. Right next to this vent is another spawn point and now, now I'll jump north near that water and show you where the next one will be. And there it is. So that one's really easy to find because it's right near the water. Now you want to jump south. Jump south onto this uh, train station. There isn't one right there. I blocked just to show you a reference point to where this one will be. And here it is. It looks like that hero tried to hit me with, uh, with the safe zone uh, switch that knocks me away. But it didn't work too well. Anyway, there's that spawn point. Now you want to jump south and here's another spawn point right here now we'll go west of this building and another spawn point will be right about here some cops usually spawn right there so they might attack you and there's another spawn point on the top of this building on the west side now going to the east side is the spawn point of this exhibit now i'll jump down on the east side of the building in between this patch there's another spawn point and I already showed this one, so I wouldn't know why I'd go back to show it. I'm kind of confused, as you can see. I don't know what I'm doing. Just running around and I uh, don't know what my character's doing. I, I, I recorded this before. Anyway, on that west building at the bottom, you'll see another spawn point. And running up the east side of this building to the very top, here's another spawn point right here on the east side of the building towards the middle. And now you want to jump west. There is another spawn point right there at the west side of that building. Now jumping west again at the bottom. Here this is another spawn point between the pillar and the building. And moving north on the westernmost support beam, there will be another pillar right here. I mean another spawn point right here by the pillar. And then jump up on top of the rails and run to the beginning of the first arch you see. And there'll be another spawn point right there and going west and then south 
in between these two trees, two benches, and two bushes, you'll see another spawn point right there. And now there's one up here. Once you jump up to the railing, jump down and go west in between these two bushes and these four trees, there's another one in between there. And now go east and up this building. And right here in between the skylight and the building, there's one right there. Now we'll go southeast on the ledge. There's another exhibit location right there. Now jump down all the way down to this big window. There's one right here. Now we'll go south. There's an exhibit right behind this skylight. And now we'll go southeast. To this building there is one right here by these two dead trees and now we're coming back to where we started off again so I'll just explain there's uh, where they were so there's one right here by where Raven spawns now we'll jump back on top of this railing and head back to the uh, our starting point by this little tree over here there's one right here jump back on top of the railing and go back to this first ledge on the east building there's one here and then you want to go up on top of this building on the north ledge on the north uh, east ledge right there there's another location now you want to jump behind the building and go south on this ledge and here's another location right here from here you go south to where the fountain is there's a location right uh, east of the fountain. Now go south onto this building and right by this ventilation thing, there's, a, there's another location right here. And this is the path. Uh, you wanna start off by this gate and just loop around by going in between these two support pillars and then going right back up this building. That is my exobit path. That's what I use to get 25,000 exobits. And I hope this guide helped you out. There's many ways to get this feat. Personally, this is just how I got it. So if you have a better way to do it, go ahead and do that. But if you're someone who needed an exobit path that's efficient, uh, this is a very efficient path. So thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe and I'll see you next time.